Hey everybody, this is part six of the Aruba ClearPass Tack Axe configuration. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Cisco ASAs. We're going to use this ASA right here, Internet ASA 1. We're going to configure that one for Tack Axe Plus. All right, so in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Configuration Services. We're going to take this service and we're going to copy it. And there it is, copy. So then let's rename it Cisco ASA. And what we'll do is we'll change that. This will be the 10.150.254.1. So that is the configuration or that is the IP address. Let's make sure of that. Internet ASA. Let's see if we see what we got here. Show run. Okay. 254.2 and the standby also 254.3. So we're gonna have to add that also because if you wanted to log in, you would use the same, you wanna use the same TACAX plus. So we're gonna to need to add that too. So nothing else is set up in here as far as AAA. I don't see it. Okay. So this is the one we're configuring. So let's go back here and we will add the other connection. Connection. IP address equals, and then 10.150.254.3. Okay, that's saved. Cisco ASA, TACX enforcement, authentication. Both authentications, good. Roles, no roles. Enforcement, so we want it to be the same. This is fine. This will work for Cisco ASA. The enforcement policy is called. So you'd probably want to call this enforcement policy Cisco, you know, maybe change it to devices, Cisco devices, Cisco iOS device, Cisco, I don't know, Cisco. You don't want it to be so specific, though. It doesn't need to be. It's kind of confusing, but that's that's fine. Okay. that is configured let's go back let's save this now now that we configured it well let's call it cisco asa tac x plus be more specific you cannot put a plus in there don't put a plus save it all right there's the list. We're going to reorder this. Click here. Move it on up. It could be the second position. So it should drop through this because it shouldn't match. You can see right here the service rules equals that and equals tack axe protocol is tag x so it's it's pretty nice you can be pretty granular and order these in any way you want okay asa tag x perfect 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 i like this all right so now, now let's jump on to the asa and what we'll do is we'll do the actual configuration on the asa Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to do triple A server. We'll call this one clear pass underscore tack axe. 
And the protocol for that is obviously PACAX plus. You can exit out of there. Triple A server. Clear as pack X. And what's this going to say? This is going to give us, this is where it's coming from, where the authentication comes from. So it's going to be inside host 10.150.5.20. So that's, it's coming from off of the inside interface. That's why we had to define the 10.150.254.2 and 3. Okay, and in here, we're going to define the key. Cisco 123. That's what we'll use. So that just reminded me that I have to add the device over on Aruba ClearPass. Okay. Or else this will not work. AAA authentication. SSH, console, clear pass, pack X, then local. Do I already have this configured? So what, um, let me just see what's going on. Range already exists. Huh. Okay. So it's not letting me add that clear pass SSH console. So that's already there local. So do I have to get rid of that? Yeah, it looks like I do. Okay, interesting. Um, probably the same thing for the enable. Let's just bring this up. It's probably gonna give us that same error. We're gonna make sure Add this for enable, tack X for enable, console, enable console, clear pass, tack X local, perfect. Range already exists, no, let's just get rid of that. And bring that back up, okay. And AAA authentication. Okay. Okay, so now let's do a right mem. Let's go back over to the policy manager. And as we remember the devices. Yes. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Uh, let's go back to services. I mean, re. Yeah, okay. I forgot to save it after reordering. Tac X. We're going to move to the second position. And then we're going to save it this time. Now we're going to go to devices. So you can see I've got an ASA the VPN one. Uh, okay, so let's just add another one. Add device. Internet or Cisco ASA Internet one ten dot one fifty dot two fifty four dot two TACAC Cisco one two three Cisco 
go one, two, three. And this is, I know if we go in here, we can say Cisco ASA is a, an option in here. We don't care about that. Add. Let's also add the other one. Okay, so this is going to be Cisco ASA Internet 2. 10, 150, 284.3. Cisco, 123. Cisco, 123. Cisco, ASA. Turn that off. It doesn't really matter if you turn that off. We're not using that for this anyway. Okay, it's been added. Now, let's see if we can jump back on our Docker container. And can we SSH there? So I think we have to allow that first. Um, go run. Show run include SSH. Okay, so I'm allowing it from everywhere. Normally, well, this should be locked down really from just like a admin stations or, you know, something like that. But for this lab, it's pretty good. And it's not. Chris R. This should work. 10.150.254.2. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And that's also nice. And let's make sure we can do some commands. Yep, we can show run. Show interface IP status. No. Brief. Yeah, this is it's like the opposite of uh, iOS, the IP and the interface. Okay. And okay, we're on it. So let's, let's exit out of there. Let's also make sure that we can do to go to 253, the secondary. Yes. And we can, so and we're in. So we can go to the primary and the secondary, perfect. Everything's working. So that's how you set up TACAX plus for the ASA. And let's let's look at our monitoring. Access tracker. Let's look at our last one. Request. Coming from 254.3, there it is. Policy, well, let's see what it has. Computed attributes and Cisco admins, there it is. Very nice. Let's look at another one. Cisco admins, it's working. Alerts, user Chris R. So it's gonna say, because it's it's evaluating both of those the so either one will work in this case um, this one's failing because I'm not in the local user repository but that one would actually also work I'll have to see what happens if we have both of them enabled both of them enabled at different levels what would, would it which one would it pick all right um. So that is Cisco ASA TACX Plus. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.